know if my record labels knew how clear my vision was for not just the music rebel, but for the photo shoot behind it. But let me just tell you, picture the most beautiful scenery that up until this point I had only ever seen on in photos, never been before, never visited. Uh, but me and my sister had had this dream of getting to do a photo shoot in the mountains. So when I told my management about my idea to go to Jackson Hole, Wyoming, their first reaction to it was like, oh my gosh, this is gonna be crazy expensive. But the more we talked about it, it was just like clear that this is what we had to do. And so we made it work, figured out the budget for it, and it was still super expensive, but we did it. <laughs> but we tried to do it on a budget. When we first got into Wyoming, I was just, freaking out the whole time because I was like, I can't believe that my dream that I've wanted for so long is coming true. Like we are here in the moment, we're making it happen. And it was so beautiful, more beautiful than I could have ever dreamed. We got to stay on this ranch in the middle of Wyoming. It was so cool. No service, like literally so detached from reality. And it, we were out there for a few days and it was just so cool getting to be out there in God's creation. and just the inspiration just coming you know like even more song ideas by being out there and just being able to see the record come to life visually was so cool so we got to the grand teton mountains which is so like such a cool place to get to shoot in front of you have to get a permit it's very complicated we were just hoping and praying we could get it and we did thank god so we're getting there it's our last very last scene of the whole photo two-day photo shoot we get there and we're with like this park ranger lady who's taking us to the Grand Tetons and all of a sudden there were this herd of buffalo migrating and so everybody stops and basically we can't move until they finish migrating because I guess they could attack us or something. <laughs> so so we finally, they finally, I mean we had to wait for like 30 minutes. They finally get through, we finally get to our location and that was the album cover. It was shot in front of the Grand Tetons after we waited for the buffalo to move. And we got the perfect shot, and I just knew it was going to be in front of the Grand Tetons the whole time. It was the jacket, it was the hat, it was the whole thing. And it was such a special moment. Yeah, there was something about that moment in front of the mountains that really felt like this is it. This screams rebel. This is the, the pinnacle of all the ideas and all the songs and the artwork and everything. This is it. This is the photo. And um, it felt really special, too, just from starting with a Pinterest board with my sister four years ago to only dreaming of this to actually being in that moment and knowing we just got the shot. It was such an accomplishment and a dream come true. And I'm learning that every single detail matters from every note, you know, on a song to every single picture to every font on a, you know, album cover, whatever it is. It's, I wanted this album to be the very best it could be and I wasn't going to settle for less.